This animation wasn't created by a music company or film distributors. This video was made by a student, by an RA actually, just trying to help other students at UCLA. Being a student at UCLA is a big deal. You go to one of the top universities in the nation with the highest application rate and an undergraduate population of 26,000. However, around 1,400 UCLA students are caught every year in file sharing cases. UCLA is one of the largest internet providers in the country. They give access to over 30,000 students in the Westwood area alone. Yet each year, around 1,400 students are caught sharing files illegally, facing possible fines, suspension, and even dismissal from school. So how do you get caught? Well, most often, because of a file sharing program like a BitTorrent. The second you begin downloading, you also begin uploading the same material. When you upload material, your specific IP address is attached to that kilobyte of information and can travel anywhere on the internet. Suddenly, your name and IP address appear on computers across the country, notifying intellectual property owners that someone has been making their content available. If you turn off the program, delete the file, it doesn't matter. Your IP address is now sitting on someone else's computer, and companies can and usually do take legal action. This is where UCLA comes in. The companies contact the internet provider, and UCLA helps students deal with the consequences. On the first offense, UCLA informs the students of the violation and has them attend a workshop describing this same information, as well as how to protect themselves. Better than thousands of dollars in fines and legal fees. So, how do you not get caught? Having a BitTorrent or other file sharing program active on your computer places yourself in immediate risk. Your risk is compounded when you have files on your computer connected to the BitTorrent program. Even when you're not on your computer, these programs and files can be uploaded to anyone on the internet. To avoid this, you can remove your file sharing software and even have the Student Technology Center run a check for any file sharing programs. Most students seem to view file sharing as a passive felony because it's on the internet, it's easy and accessible, and the classic, everyone does it. The crime seems too widespread and effortless that the consequences are often overlooked. The truth is, it's a felony, and most students do not repeat offenses. A second offense results in immediate suspension from school. What does suspension mean in college? Well, suspension means an absolute separation from UCLA for an entire quarter. Suddenly you're removed from classes, you may not graduate on time, and if you're like me, you lose your job as a resident assistant. We all work hard to get where we are, and having our college careers disrupted by file sharing is truly irresponsible and tragic. This animation is meant to educate. So use it. Tell your friends about the dangers they put themselves in by file sharing. Tell them about the abundant alternatives. Hulu, Netflix, YouTube, Pandora, Lost FM, Grooveshark, iTunes, UCLA's Clicker. There's tons. Or even consider using U.S. currency to pay for products and stores. But keep this in mind while you're at UCLA. For yourselves more than anything.